Hi everyone, John Burrows of Clemens Boats here. Today I'm in our Boston Whaler showroom and I'm going to walk you through this new 2022 Boston Whaler 330 Outrage. She has a pair of uh, white 300 Mercury joysticks Verados. <clears throat> the boat is a great riding boat. She's uh, 10 feet, 2 inches wide. Weighs almost 12,600 pounds with water, fuel, engines, um, and has a 23 deg degree dead rise. So all that weight plus that dead rise equals one heck of a nice riding boat. I'm going to walk inside here, quick show you the engines again. This one does have the underwater lighting. You can see the blue down there. And for those of you that haven't seen the new Mercuries yet, I'll show you just one quick feature. You pop the top there instead of having to pull the entire cowling off and you have access to your dipstick on either engines. Turn back around here and I'll get started. Walk in the boat, show you the back end here first. Flip down, bench seat in the back as most will have. Engine compartment, excuse me, not the engine compartment, the bilge area down below there. Um, one nice thing I like to talk about with those is Boston Whaler completely gel coats their bilge so it's a nice smooth surface a lot easier to clean than when they aren't gel coated over to this side you'll notice the dive door opened up with a stainless handle that lifts up and flips in towards the door and makes a nice handle for when you have the ladder in there um, it makes it a lot easier to climb up move over to the aft facing seat behind the helm um, nice cooler underneath there or storage whatever you want to make of it and i'm going to set the camera down and show you how this table works here hopefully i can get this right so you have your typical seat here or you can turn it into a table uh, cutting board area if you're fishing whatever you want to do with it there but uh, real nice innovative feature there walk on forward to the home area where everyone really wants to see it's got the 16 inch ray marine hybrid touch screen in there so you do still have the buttons on the side if you uh, are in some heavy seas it's sometimes it can be a little harder to dial your finger in exactly where you want it on the screen if you're bouncing a little bit does have the joystick I mentioned that Mercury's joystick is standard with autopilot and skyhook the satellite anchoring system got uh, twin helm seats here with a little extra room in the center if you've got a little one with you um, easily fits two people maybe three depending on you know if you've got a child in between the two of you there stereo system has mercury's new active engine trim feature which automatically um, trims those outboards for you based on your speed uh, it knows if you're doing a whole shot to trim itself all the way down and trims up as you get up on plane and just runs at optimal trim to get you the best fuel economy which by the way on this boat a nice cruising speed in the upper 30s excuse me upper 20s will cruise you um, and burn a little less than 20 gallons an hour so really minimal fuel burn for the size of the boat here's the head area sorry we haven't peeled away all the shipping covers yet but uh, actual vacuum flush head in there not a porta potty with a pump out or anything like that and you can see the dive ladder storage makes real easy access to pull that in and out with a little sink in the forward here too as we move forward you can see nice bow seating area again storage under that forward seat and then another fish box up in the bow area here I didn't touch on the two in the back but they are ample size I'll show you that real quick without opening them up um, they're a good seven maybe eight feet long and a good foot deep the <clears throat> forward additional seating area real nice lounge here um, some people might refer to it as a bit of a coffin box it is deep pardon the camera work again I'm gonna lift up this storage area so you can see it great place for we've got our, our safety gear in there right now the forward area here this flips up if you want to uh, store your rods in here it is lockable and they just feed back through that black mesh area there into the center console 
couple of five gallon buckets, dedicated storage for those. You can you can see the uh, framework down there to hold them in place. And then on the bottom side of the lid is your teak table for your bow area that fits into that bracket with a uh, arm that flips up. Excuse me, I'm gonna close this again. Put the windshield wiper on this one just in case you get caught on a rainy day. And it does have, for opposite days where it's nice and sunny, you've got a nice um, sunshade here on the bow that is removable. The, pol the poles here just go in and out for the supports. All the way up front, Boston Weather always has great anchor hatches. This one does have the windlass, of course. It's got a fresh water sprayer on the side to knock the mud off. And if you're if it ends up in a salt water environment at any time, you can spray that down with fresh water and keep everything from rusting up on you. You also have controls here up front and you have them at the dash. So I'm gonna give you one more quick walkthrough. I didn't mention the trolling seats on either side here. I'll pull one of those out quick. If you are into fishing and have use for that, it's great. If not, one thing I like to point out is we order all these in with uh, the wing curtains and the enclosure set for the hardtop. So you can close this whole thing off entirely around the back side. You can see the uh, canvas up there with the zippers. Neat thing about the trolling seats is when you do put all that canvas up, they are inside that canvas so you can seat two extra people in there if you're out on a rainy day and happen to, or out on a day and happen to get caught in the rain. Um, walk around here one more time again. Let's take it all in. And that's a, pretty much a wrap. Um, obviously, you know how to reach us. Our phone number is 419-684-5365 or our website, clemensboats.com. If you have any questions feel free to give us a call shoot us an email uh, text you name it thank you and have a great day